गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू योर ई लर्निंग क्लास रूम माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स जस्ट नाउ यू हैव कम्प्लीटेड द फर्स्ट पीरियड नाउ माई सेल्फ वनीता इज हियर विथ योर मैथ्स क्लास आई थिंक ऑल ऑफ यू आर रेडी फॉर दिस डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस क्लास आई हैव फिनिश्ड द चैप्टर एंगल्स टूडे I am going to start a new one chapter that is perimeter. I think all of you will take interest in this chapter because this is the new one for all of you. So let's start the chapter perimeter. Dear students, let's start the unit eleven that is perimeter. meter dear students perimeter it is a greek word made up of peri and metra peri means around and metra means measurement means the measurement of the around of the same here one picture is given and you have to find out the measurement of this picture so first what you have to do you touch and fill the boundary of this page with your finger what will be the length of the boundary this is the question you can solve it by the length of the boundary will be the sum of the length of the line segment means this page is made up of line segment that is ab bc cd and da when you measure the line segment of the page you will get the perimeter suppose ab is equal to 5 cm bc is equal to 4 cm cd is equal to 5 cm and da is equal to 4 cm you add the whole length that is 80 cm so 18 cm is the length of the boundary of this page so this length is called the perimeter of this page in this way you can find out the perimeter so in short we can say that the perimeter is a distance around the outside of the shape and it is found by adding together the length of all the sides in this way you can find out the perimeter of any thing dear students the next topic is your open figure and closed figure what are open figure and what are closed figure open figure is a figure or shape whose line segments or curves do not meet they don't start and end at the same point an open shape is made up of line segments but there is at least one line segment that is not connected to any things at one of its end point so so many pictures of open figure is given here so you can say that open figure is the figure it is made up of line segment but from one side they do not meet that is open and the closed figure are those figures whose line segment or curves are connected to each other and meet with each other they start and end at the same point so figure of closed figure and curve figure or oh sorry open figure is given here and you have to draw this closed figure and open figure now perimeter of a square if a figure is square then how will you find out the perimeter first question what is square a square is a figure or shape 
with all four sides equal these all sides are equal of the square and each angle is of 90 degree so perimeter is the distance covered on the outer line for this you can do a small activity your activity is given here step first measure all the sides of the handkerchief by using ruler now calculate the sum of the length of all sides now step 3 write the final calculated measurement the final answer which we get is the total length of the boundary and this length of the boundary is known as perimeter so this is the activity and you can do it this activity yourself so my dear students you can say that perimeter means distance around a figure or curve we can only measure the perimeter of the closed figure or two dimensional shapes or curve as movement around a closed figure or curve is possible it means you can find out the perimeter of a closed figure we cannot find out the perimeter of the open figure you can understand it with the help of this example this figure is given below we cannot move around the below figure if we start our journey from point a we will reach the point c but cannot reach back to the point a so it is open figure and we cannot find out the perimeter of this open figure because we are not reaching once again at the point a so perimeter is possible of only closed figure not a open figure students perimeter of a square you can understand once again with the help of this example here earlier i discussed that square is a closed figure which four sides are of equal length and four angles is of 90 degree now in this way this is the method to calculate the perimeter of the square so all of you first observe this carefully look at carefully and this you will do it in your copy so perimeter of a square means sum of all the sides or in short form you can write here four into sides so example side of each square is 10 cm so first method you calculate the whole sides sum of all four sides that is 10 cm 10 cm 10 cm 10 cm which is equal to 40 cm and method 2 you can calculate the perimeter with the help of this formula which i have given on the upper all the sides are equal so here you can write here perimeter is equal to 4 into sides and the measurement of one side is 10 cm so perimeter is the 40 cm whatever method is easy for you you can adopt it you can follow it and you can do apply it to solve the sums next topic is perimeter of a rectangle now first question what is the rectangle a rectangle is also a closed figure but there is a difference between rectangle and the square here in rectangle opposite sides are only equal but each angle is of 90 degree but in square all the four sides are equal 
so the longer side of the rectangle is known as the length and the shorter shorter side is known as width or breadth of the rectangle so you can say that perimeter of the rectangle is l plus l plus b plus b or you can say that 2 into l plus 2 into b that is 2l and 2 sum of 2l and 2b in other by other method you write here 2 is the common so put it in the outside of the bracket 2 into l plus b and length is here 10 cm and breadth is here 5 cm now find out the perimeter method first perimeter is 10 plus 10 plus 5 plus 5 that is sum of all four sides that is equal to 30 cm so the perimeter of the rectangle is 30 cm second method as the opposite sides are equal so you can write here 2 into length plus 2 into breadth that is 2l plus 2b 2 into 10 cm because length is equal to 10 cm plus 2 into 5 cm because breadth is equal to 5 cm now multiply this one 2 into 10 that is 20 and 2 into 5 that is 10 it means the perimeter of this rectangle is the 30 cm so already i have discussed the two methods of each and every figure whatever is easier for for you you can follow it and with the help of this method you can solve your sums next perimeter of a triangle a triangle is a figure in which all the three sides are of different or same length means all the line segments may be the same or may be of different and angles are same or may be different so a figure which is closed with three line segments may be called triangle so if you if you have to find out the perimeter of triangle it means you have to add side 1 side 2 and side 3 and the measurement of all sides are given here so first side is ab that is equal to 5 cm second side is bc that is equal to 10 cm and third one side is ac that is equal to 12 cm so for perimeter you add the whole 5 cm plus 10 cm plus 12 cm that is 20 cm 7 cm so the perimeter of a triangle is equal to 27 cm so these all are the methods of find the perimeter of a square triangle and rectangle now my dear students it's the time of class work so earlier i discussed about the closed figure open figure here on the basis of that worksheet is given here and you have to take the closed figure so all first all of you draw these figures in your copy and then you have to take out which one is the closed figure you have to take on that figure next question is you have to tick out the figures or shapes which is made up of line segments all of you know about the line segment a part of the line is called the line segments and which whatever figure is made up of line segments you have to tick out it so you can solve it yourself first draw the figure in your copy and then solve it my dear students it's the time of homework 
I am giving the slides of your homework and all of you will do it. First question, draw the following. Take the ruler and with the help of that ruler, you draw two closed figure, two open figure and two closed figure using the line segments only. You will do your homework properly, neat and clean work I want to see. Next, find the perimeter of a rectangle whose measurements are. So first you have to draw the rectangle and then denote the length and breadth and then find out the perimeter. Earlier I have discussed about it in the slides. So please follow that slides and then try to do it. Next question, find the perimeter of a square which side is given here. So first, uh, as you know, square means all the sides are equal. So first you draw the square and note down the sides and then do it. Next, find the perimeter of a triangle ABC whose measurements are given here. So you draw the triangle, note down the sides and then find out the perimeter according to the measurement. In this way, these all are about the classwork and homework. I think all of you have understood about it. It means perimeter is clear to you and now you are able to complete your classwork and homework. Let's start the work and complete the work. Okay, have a nice day.